Hi, I'm Lee Berger, and I'm here at the Rising Star site. But I want to talk a little bit about uh, a, a controversy that's emerged with Australopithecus sediba. We announced uh, a couple of days ago that we had nine papers in a special edition of the journal Paleoanthropology that summarizes our sort of total knowledge of sediba to this date, and, and some discussion of where it fits in the human family tree. Uh, some of us interpreted that as the possibility that uh, Sediba is a very good candidate ancestor of the genus Homo. Somehow, uh, in the press, particularly in the United States, it got picked up as that Sediba is the missing link. And I'm doing this uh, video today to tell you that Sediba is not the missing link. It's not that it isn't fitting into the family tree necessarily in one of those ways of perhaps being the ancestor of the genus Homo. It's not the missing link because there's no such thing as a missing link. Evolution doesn't work that way. Uh, that t-shirt model of human origins where you, you see one thing giving rise to another thing giving rise to another thing, that was an idea that uh, should have been thrown out in the early 20th century. It's just maintained because it's easy to explain. But human evolution is much more complex than that. I actually like to use a term uh, like the braided stream. That that's how evolution works. Sometimes you see streams or streams of water that are the species diverging away, and they may never interact with the main channel again. Sometimes they go off and they come back and enter the main channel in the way that we have some Neanderthal DNA inside of us, for example. Um, but in that model, there's no place for any one species to be centrally, directly the ancestor of the next one. It's just more complex than that. So what I hope is that we stop using the term missingly.